And I'm sure you weren't alone in WWE and watching All In either. I'm sure I wasn't either, yeah. Well, he's firmly aligned with the elite at this point. They're leaving Ring of Honor, and the recruitment is on. He's rumored to have received the highest offer by anyone ever to become a full-time NXT talent and be the face of the brand. When I think of Paul Levesque, Triple H, yeah. I imagine he sees a guy like Hangman Page and is enamored with him. Hangman checks all the boxes that, I, I mean, especially, I've gone to- Especially for Triple H. Yes, I've gotten to know Paul a little bit, yeah. and it just seems like Hangman would be the guy that yes. he would be fully confident in putting the brand behind. What did you think of his recruitment at this point? Did you have any conversations? Because you were in WWE. Did you have any conversations with him about coming in? And do you think that he would have been a good fit in that system? He would have been extremely interesting in NXT. Uh, and he would have been, I have confidence, he would have probably done okay on the main roster too, if given a fair opportunity. You, you never know there. It's, 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 it's a, a guessing game. It's it, it all, yeah. Yes, it is. It's a crapshoot, right, in this day and age. If you're a new guy who is established elsewhere, and jumping on the main roster. You never know what you're going to get. It might not follow the career trajectory that your path has taken, taken to get you there. So long story short, I didn't talk to Adam Page, but I did speak to the Young Bucks a lot, and they were also in negotiation. All the, the WWE was trying to get all these guys. They yeah. wanted to lock them all down. And they were going to go to the main roster, as was Cody. This is long talked about. They've talked about this multiple yes. times. Hangman was going to go to NXT. They were going to go to the main roster. But, but I do know that... Uh, Triple H, Trips was all over those guys as far as trying to get them in. And they were they offered them a ton of money. And I know they did Hangman as well, you know, because they they really wanted to secure them. And you just got to think, how different would mm -hmm. the current present look if those guys did leave? Radically different. And go to WWE. Radically different. You know, it, you and it, I wouldn't be having this conversation yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, AEW, it, it maybe does not happen at that juncture. No, I stand by all in. First off, the single most important thing that's happened in modern wrestling history was Dave Meltzer tweeting that people wouldn't be able to draw 10,000 people in an arena and then Cody Rhodes saying, let's bet a dollar. That's the single most important thing that happened in modern wrestling history, which is so insane. But it's true because that leads to All In. Yeah. All In leads to AEW and everything just kind of steamrolls from there. So did you have any conversations with Triple H? Because I know you have a good relationship with Paul. Uh, did you have any conversations about any of those guys? Uh, I talked to him about the Bucks. Um, yeah. I know. Yeah. I, and, I, and I like triple h i i've got to say that i think once hunter kind of more or less actively retired from wrestling and focused everything on heading up nxt i mean he he was so great uh as a coach a, as a booker and he really cared about the talent and he really did all he could to help him i, I can say that about Shawn michaels as well at mm -hmm. nxt i mean i hear so many great things yeah. about both of those Me guys too. but yeah i had i had a great when we went back to WWE. i had a great relation with uh, triple h yeah, and it is really interesting to think about what a Hangman Page NXT run would have looked like, because I think it would have been very successful, personally. Beyond that, who's to say? But I think an NXT run would have been very successful. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think Hangman Page, if he would have went to NXT, he would have been one of the top guys, without mm -hmm. a doubt, and he would have been one of the guys carrying the brand. And I think he would have done well, and I think Triple H would have booked him in a very uh, positive and correct way. Sure. Instead... Hangman becomes the first person to reveal on being the elite that AEW is even going to be a thing. He turns his cell phone around yeah. and the world sees the AEW logo for the first time. He's the featured player in the January 8th, 2019 press conference in Jacksonville. I was there for that. He says that he's going to become the first AEW world champion before he's interrupted by PAC. <laughs> now, I remember interviewing Hangman that day. And in comparison to who I spoke to that day versus who I spoke to after full year, it is night and day difference between yeah. the two human beings do you remember did you watch that press conference by chance or i did highlights yes. from it at least yes I, uh, I i i was excited and i knew it was something that the wrestling industry needed you know we we needed more places for other guys to work you know especially if there was going to be a a major company set up with you know a true owner behind it that had some finances that could push it into something good and that is obviously the case with with tony khan so, yeah, I, I kept up with all that stuff very, very closely. And I uh, obviously am very close friends with Matt and Nick, sure. the Young Bucks. So uh, I was watching everything. And I knew AEW was a destination. If this thing takes off like they were planning on it taking off, I knew it was a destination I would probably end up at. 
did you see Hangman specifically at that press conference and remember having thoughts about him being in the main title picture right away? The, the, the first thing that I thought about seeing Adam on that press conference is like, man, this guy's grown and like proud. You know, you're proud when you see guys, especially from your area, guys who have taken the path of doing indies because they're passionate about wrestling and they're trying to do it right and they work hard and they bust their ass. And to see someone grow, I mean, you almost feel like a proud papa, you know, e even though he obviously isn't my child. You know, I, I uh, was able to I, I was able to feel good about it because he was one of the guys that, that grew up in, in my area and he had these dreams and aspirations and he made it.